look at this little knife. This is the Spyderco Kripa in a Cocobolo. It sounds like that song that everyone sings about going to the Copacabana and the Cocobolo. All that sort of business. This is like a little gentleman's pocket folder with a clip, just one way. And it's got that whole bolster, um, Cocobolo wood, sort of traditional type look and feel to it. This is like, this is about as close as you get from Spyderco making a knife like this. It really is. It's, you know, they're never going to make this um, Great Eastern Cutlery Knife, you know, as much as we'd like them to. Um, I guess they've made the roadie, which is kind of the same function, but really, in terms of style and feel, they go, they're really going for this sort of vibe. And I think they've done it pretty well with this one. This isn't in production anymore, so uh, I, you know, I do often just like to tell you about knives that you can rush out and buy. So you can't rush out and buy this one, uh, on, on the new market anyway, you'll have to find someone who's got one. There's lots of copas though. Um, in different materials and configurations, and it is a really elegant little knife. It reminds me a lot of the Chaparral. I don't know if you've seen the Chaparral. Uh, it's the same sort of size, got a really, you know, dainty little uh, blade for, you know, your dinner table type cheese cutting work, all that sort of business. Maybe cut up some twiggy sticks or salami. It's that kind of knife, you know. Um, I would have almost said to them, you know what, don't worry about the pocket clip fellas, let's just make it a bottom of the pocket carry, but off they went and they did it anyway. So VG10 and made in Japan, and this is one of those Japanese knives where they've gone and done a really smooth back lock again. It is really something. Um, because you get the you get the Japanese backlocking knives like the oh, like the Endura for example, great knife, but it's really kind of like it's got a real walk and talk to it. You know what walk and talk is? It's like this. The, so this is the walk, and then the snap it makes. That's the talk. So it's got that talk usually from the Japanese factory, which some people like, some people don't. Refreshing to have a blade from Spyderco that is just a smooth rollout. It's excellent. Um, yeah, this is going to be a knife um, that either hits your taste or doesn't. Um, it's good in hand, it's got fantastic ergonomics, it's really, your fingers really pinch around this, this head, sort of choking that little, um, little blade out, so for a really, really good little control. Um, great little letter opening businessman's blade next to his cigar collection, for sure. Um, the pocket clip is fine. Um, I would probably just yeah, carry it in the bottom of the pocket though if I find this knife. I might even take that pocket clip off. Um, you know, it's, it's not going to be the lightest knife in the world because they've gone bolsters and they've gone you know, steel liners and that sort of thing. And they've gone coca bolo and that. Let's have a look at how much it weighs. Let's get the old kitchen scales out, hey? So, this knife weighs, you know, it's 70 grams. So that's about as much as a, yeah, as a Delica. It's 66 grams. So again, there's a bit of you know there's a bit of compromise you make. You can either have a really light sort of you know, purely practical using knife, or you can have something made of nice materials with a really nice sort of slow rollout lock back design. You can have that as well, but it's just going to weigh a little bit more. So the Copa, the Copa, a gentleman's Spyderco folder. They do make a few of these types of knives still, but you know not this exact one. Um, that's you. Know, I probably would, you know, if you had a chaparral, there's probably not much here for you, uh, unless you're particularly like this scale uh, style. Um, they've got rid of lots of their wooden scaled knives, really. The Sage 4 was discontinued, much to the despair of some, you know, purists out there who thought it was the bee's knees. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it just, uh, it's interesting how Spyderco's changed their, um, just their lineup. I've had these, I've got these three knives from Spyderco from, you know, obviously the more olden days. So we've got this, this, and we've got this, and they just feel so different to the new knives. So you've got a Shemp Persian, which is, you know, they're still making an iteration of Persian, but this is the first one. They just feel, this is before everyone was weight crazy, and they just, these are heavier knives. Even the Kiwi for its size is, is heavier. And, but they're just so smooth, and they're just really lovingly finished and polished, and it just, there's really something different about these, these three older Spydercos, and it's been a really nice experience having them all. Um, to play around with and having them in hand. I think my favourite of the bunch is probably that little Kiwi. I think that's really quite a remarkable knife. And luckily you can still get this in some iterations. But the video is not about the Kiwi, it is about the Copa in Cocobolo. And I think it's nice. It is, you know, it's the lineup niche is still filled in Spyderco's lineup with the Chaparral um, in terms of having, you know, where are we? So we've got Delica. The Chaparral is about, yeah, it's pretty much the same size. I've held the Chaparral, I don't have one on me now, but it is, you know, it's, it's kind of between the Dragonfly and the Delica. Here's the Techno. The Techno is kind of, it's about Dragonfly sized as well, a bit more blade on it, obviously, less choke and choil, but 
Yeah, it's up to you. It's a kind of a, the Techno is kind of like where they're going now for their like posh occasion carries. You know, you get all titanium, quite like sort of space age type design. It really is quite, you know, it's interesting to see how different two Spyderco knives can be while still being undeniably Spyderco knives. Anyway, what a fun experience this has been playing with all these little blades. And thank you very much for watching. That's the Spyderco Copa. You will be able to find this in some configuration somewhere, but probably not this one unless you really hunt the forums. Alright dudes, uh, VG10 flat ground steel once again. Thanks guys, I'll see you later.